So we are here on season 5 of Vanguard, the previous video that you guys sh should watch. I pretty much went over what uh, was in the season, like the launch of season 5. So the new RA SMG, got the laser gun that I'm trying to uh, unlock right now. I think, yeah, the pistol up down here, yeah. you got three guns and one new map. Uh, I'm not playing, I'm not going to be playing that, at least for not right now, because I'm just trying to, trying to, you know, level up my weapons try to get uh, tier 15 as fast as I can. I can't really buy them. I really don't want to buy tiers just to get to it. So I'm just going to do it like to grind away, just level up and get tier 15. I'm like barely tier two, so I have a lot to go through. And it takes forever to tier up, so it's going to take a bit. Yeah, I'm going to be red gunning again. I, been, I was red gunning like earlier. What I'm gonna do is just level up every single weapon in the game so I'm doing something instead of just sniping. Make it a little more enjoyable for me. Yeah, spawns in this game are not good at all. It's been like oh, nearly a year and they still haven't fixed spawns. I thought those spawns were a good idea, was an idiot. If any regulars are playing this game, please tell me that. Uh, please let me know if, it, if incinerators are any good, because I swear they don't do anything. Man, if you kill, if you shoot less bullets at the person and it deals on fire damage, it doesn't kill them entirely. So I don't see a point of it running. I feel like it's just not worth running. So I saw everybody was running incinerators. rounds. I was like, okay, maybe it's like the best, uh, best rounds to use. Like, I don't think it made a difference. I don't think it really makes a difference. I only think it just just ruins the, the range, the effective damage range for this weapon and it just doesn't really give any benefits. I've been red gunning in this game before, I got to level 55 with this weapon, just gonna level to a maximum and then switch up to the next SMG. Just so like I have done, I've done every weapon, I've used every single weapon, just so that it doesn't feel like I've just used only snipers, I want to do that. I just want to be doing something, because I literally go in this game to snipe and sniping in this game gets outplayed by every weapon. I'm not okay, like every weapon in the game. There's really no content for snipers apart from the laser gun, which I which will take time for me to get. So, how, how do how do tiers work? Like, do they go off based on the XP that you earn? I still have no idea why the double XP tokens are even counting down in the lobby because you're not playing a game. So I just feel like it's like a waste of time. Yeah, I think the last regulating video I made was back in Cold War. I made a video uh, just using red guns in Cold War. So mainly level them up for uh, for Dark Ether. So I was just going into hardcore face off. And I hit a six on with the LMG, which was my first six on. It's not that impressive because it's it, it's a LMG. It's nothing impressive. I can mainly to turn on my sensitivity. I don't know. Switching from 16 to 12 just feels really weird. It feels, it feels a lot slow. I mean, obviously, turning on your sensitivity, but I feel like it's a bit too slow. Oh my god. I just shat them all. I just shat on all three of them that just came out that just spawns in this game. Oh my god. Spawns in this game are so ridiculous. I'm glad, but also I'm not glad that they haven't fixed them. I feel like Shipman wouldn't play the same. I feel like it wouldn't play the same if the spawns were actually fixed. How, how did he not die? I hip fired like right in his face. I have no idea who who went with the idea of like, you know, let's just let them spawn fucking anywhere. Because all this time they've always been spawning in their like, you know, the spawns. I mean spawn trap in this game still exists to an extent. Holy shit. Why are there so many lineups when I'm using a red gun but not when I'm using a sniper? What is my luck? Are they else react to that when they see tons of people or is it just me? Is it, is it just me who does that? It's when I see a tons of people, I shit myself. <laughs> yeah, literally the meta right now is literally running any weapon with a ride shield on your back. And I don't think anyone will not change that meta. Not everyone's gonna run it, but most people run it. Most people just run any weapon with a shield on their back. Because it just makes them makes you harder to kill. Yeah, I was about to hit a coin <laughs> with an SMG. It just reminds me of that one clay pot and shipment that I had on Modern Warfare. Where I, I got acquired with a FAMAS. I don't really have to like the original footage anymore. That that clip is long gone now. It's still in a video. But I just can't access the original raw file of it. Just have, have to like download the montage and just clip it. I'm surprised they haven't fixed that issue where you can see people's like tags through the smoke. Not 
tags but like names through the walls. I'm surprised they haven't fixed that issue where you can see people's names through like smokes and stuff. Because smokes are meant to keep you hidden but you can just see through them anyway. Which makes no sense. I thought they would have fixed that by now but I mean I'm glad they haven't fixed it because it makes smokes less annoying. This game is only for Rick it, it won't be as fun as using like an AR SMG. It's just they outplay all the snipers in the game. ARs and SMGs destroy- ARs, SMGs and LMGs destroy you like long range, medium range and especially close range. Unless you're like really good and can pull it off, not that many people can. Not many people snipe here anyway, I mean, nobody's really giving a shit about this game, they're just waiting for Modern Warfare 2 now, which I, I am as well. I'm excited for the whole like COD Next thing that they're having. So what, is this meant to be like a World War 2 game or what? I don't know. <laughs> is this meant to be a World War 2 game? Why is Roman Nethnets in here? Why is there a whole laser gun in World War 2? At this point, if you do a World War 2 game, your game is immediately going to be boring. Setting a cold in World War 2 is oversaturated. So World of War was probably a pr the best World War 2 game we've gotten. World, World of War perfected what war really felt like. Not because of its realism, because obviously the game came out in 2008, but like the greediness and the... I guess how much power each mission had and your characters in the game. Like you can truly feel emotion when you're playing that game. This campaign, this camp, this Vanguard campaign didn't do shit for that. Campaign's like four or five hours, like it looks great, but like that's it really, it just looks good. I'd rather take I'd rather take anything over like looks. I'd rather take anything over graphics. The two things I'm seeing the most are the laser gun and raw menendez. I mean, to be honest, I feel like I should have been red gunning a lot sooner. I feel like I shouldn't, I shouldn't have sniped as much as I did. Like I should have just red gunned. I wanted to stay committed. I wanted to stay committed. And I didn't feel like red gunning was fun, but it actually is. I just felt like it's just gonna be too easy. I want challenge. In some way, you do get challenge, but it's not as big of a challenge as using like the Mosin. Use a Mosin in this fucking game on on this map against lasers. Yeah, good luck. Good luck. Also, really want to use that new SMG. Yeah, it actually felt really good. Yeah, guys, if you want to see me red gun more, uh, I can definitely do that for sure. I'm gonna be red gunning a lot more. I can easily red gun. I enjoy red gunning. It, it's something for me to do instead of just sniping. And just going for clips, I can just level up my weapons. Because if you guys are not following my Twitter, then make sure you do follow me on Twitter. I just post random shit. Post random stuff there if you guys are into that. Oh my. Dude. Come on. Just put a attack insert here. And let me just kill them off spawn. All my socials are in the description if you guys want to check that out. I stream mostly on Twitch, stream Cold Diddy over there. I usually go live like late at night here in the UK, like 10 pm, which is like 5 pm, I think, EST. <laughs> Did these spawns with using SMGs are fucked. But yeah, we're getting to the end of Vanguard's life cycle, thank god. I'm just literally ready to move onto a game that I will actually enjoy. Um, I hope I do enjoy Modern Warfare 2. If not, I'm not playing Vanguard. I'm going Cold War. I really do hope Modern Warfare 2 is good. I don't want to play another year of Vanguard. I really don't want to play Cold War Year 3 though. I don't want to do that. I'll probably move, play different games, maybe on PC even. Or I can just go for Atomic, just for the lols of it. I don't know. At that point, Cold is going to be really shit. Maybe I should use this round. I mean, by the time I get there, I won't need to. I've got five levels. By the time I get to level 70, I won't be using this weapon in at all. So, I don't know why I'm running this. You want clan tag either, because I'm not going to be sniping. Clan tag that I'm running is literally just for, like, snipers, and I'm not even sniping. Yeah, you know what? If the whole team is just running Robman, then there's, it's going to be a shit game. But yeah, that's going to be reckoning for you. Um, you guys see me reckon a little bit. I'm just gonna get this maxed and then I'm gonna move over to the Stan and then the Thompson. Go down the list and then I'm gonna move over to the ARs and then get the shotguns. I don't know about the combat shield, you don't really need to level it up. It's already maxed out. It's been red gunning in Vanguard, it's really not that hard, really. It's really not. 
It was a lot of fun though, so I'm just gonna grind. I'm gonna grind this out. Try the BA that's map. Yeah, anyways guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Take care and goodbye.